Hi there. Uh, this is the second tutorial that I'm making on uh, system is log uh, this arrays. Already we have discussed in system is log arrays. Uh, this 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 we have covered already in the first video. Till this uh, packed and uh, unpacked array in system is log. So uh, let's see today this dynamic array in system array log possibly in this tutorial itself and associate array in system array log as well. So let's go to this uh, dynamic array. So in this dynamic array, unlike uh, normal array, like where we have the size declare, uh, already declared here, at the time of declaring this variable as a array at that time itself we use it to have the declaration of the size as well but here we don't do at the time of declaring while we use wherever we are using according to our needs there where we change the size for example here in this case uh, let me zoom this bit okay this is good i think so here we at line number two if you see we have declared the array here this array is a unpacked array here but do you see the array size declared here like earlier in the tutorial one we discussed putting five four or five column zero or anything that you see you don't see here anything of that sort this is empty so now at line number uh, four, you see here with a new method, with a new method, new is a keyword. And within the parentheses, we keep the size of that array that we we, we required. Like, let's say at, at that point of time, we need, uh, uh, we, 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 we may be uh, requiring five elements to keep in that array. So we have declared like that. So later down the line here, if we see at line number 14, if we thought of increasing the uh, array size, then we can do so. So let's come from here again. What basically we are doing here is we are just using this keyword new. New with, uh, I mean, uh, new with parentheses has got another meaning. We use that in classes, system with like classes. So here, while dealing with the dynamic array, this new comes with not with parentheses, rather it comes with the square brackets. All right. So here the size is now five, starting from zero to four. And what we're keeping here inside the array, these are the values that we are keeping. Can I keep here, uh, uh, like, uh, for example, uh, name, some name? I cannot keep. Why? Because this array belongs to a data type called int. All right. If it would have been string in that case, possibly I can keep here the name in double quotes. But at that time, all of this needs to be changed. Like there must be a representing string kind of. So the basic point that I'm making is inside the array, whatever the elements that you can keep, only them you can keep to which this array belongs to. This array here, it belongs to int, int data type. So that's why integer values you're keeping here. And what is the syntax to keep them here? The tick and this, you know, flower brackets, braces, All right? Now coming to this line number eight, this is the for each loop. And only one statement we have. Since uh, there are no multiple statements, we don't need begin and end. If there would have been multiple statements, then we need begin and end. Since only one statement is there, so we don't need begin and end. So as discussed in tutorial one, this i is not declared here. 
while using for each whatever the variable that you use here is it's not required to be declared because it's implicitly considering like this i is initialized with zero and it will go up to all up to this how many how many uh, you know elements are there in the, this array that increment comparison everything is happening implicitly so that's how this is going to work and uh, here what basically we are doing is this contents of this array will print to the console and then we are printing here the size of this array as well. See the method here that we are using. Array, this name itself, variable name, dot size is important. Like what is the size of this array? Instead this array, you can have any variable name. Like it could be just like, uh, you know, A or B, C, anything that could be. So, in that case, like if suppose say int b, then b dot size, that's what you keep. So what it does, it displays on the console, what is the size of this array, all right? Now coming to the line number 14 here. We have the same kind of declaration like at line number four, what we have done and done. But you can see in addition to that, there is something within the parenthesis. Within the parenthesis, we are also keeping the name of the array. In that case, the meaning is including this array, we are we are going to have total number of elements in the new array. Total number of elements in the new array will be eight, in, including considering this previously existing elements. How many then are previously existing? Previously existing are total five. How many were demanding? Total eight. Already existing five are there. We are retaining them. Five plus three more elements. That's the meaning. What happens if we don't keep this one? If we don't keep this one, this array will get a new space. Total space will be eight. Eight elements we can keep and you are going to lose all of the previously existing if you don't follow this this rule and in all of those new uh, newly created spaces total eight spaces because eight elements are there the default value will be to which data type it belongs to it belongs to int data type int int belongs to two state data type and the, the default value of the two state data type is zero that's the meaning. So, but here now, what happens at line number 18, if you see, the size is now incremented, right, from 5 to 8. So, it will, it is going to print on to the console 8. Why you try to display what happens then? It is going to retain the, this, all, the, all of this file from the beginning, starting from the beginning, like in the zeroth place, this file then next place this like that followed by that newly created will come so newly created since we are not we did not assign in this example anything so that those are going to be zeros why why zeros because this belongs to int data type int belongs to state data type and the default value if you are, if we are not initializing anything then the default value will be zero that's fine from what we can see is starting from uh, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll see zeros. Now, coming to this one, line number twenty-one. See, we we declared here total space is six, but we did not follow the line number fourteen rule. We are not going to retain since we are not following that rule. It means what? The, the previously existing, all of those values will be removed. We are going to lose them. A fresh array with the size 6 will be the new one. That's the meaning. So, and then if you print the size here, so 6, because this, this is 6, that's what we did here. And if you print them out, 
because we did not initialize them simply we created the space but we did not initialize in the, in that space we did not keep any element so the default value will be zero that's what we see here now the finally the meaning of this uh, delete delete is remove all of them like six spaces you have created right all of them you are removing that's the meaning of this if you do so, then what, what remains the size then? Zero size. It is not having any size. That's the meaning. Zero size. So let's see whatever we have discussed, whether it is happening or not by uh, compiling this one in the EDF playground. So here we are going to paste it. The same thing, just uh, I copied and paste it here. And I'm just ensuring here that this tool here is selected. All deck Rivera Pro is selected. Uh, and then I'm just creating a space here so that we can see the console here and run this. Since discussed, it has printed all of them because of because of this line number five. After this at line number 13, what is the, the size that we are printing, right? What is the size five? This is what we declared with right here. This one new five at line number six. And then what we have done is we have resized the array size to eight along with the existing. So the size, if you print here because of line number 17, now you see here the result is eight. After printing, then what we're doing here, we're printing the contents of the array itself. So if you print them out here, as I said, they will be like, Past values will come first, newly created values will be later on. Since we did not assign in the new newly created space any value, the default value will be zero. The, this zero is because this array belongs to the int data type. Int belongs to two state data type. And the default value of the two state data type is zero. That's why zero. After that, we are doing this line number. 23. What it does, it removes all of the existing elements and newly it forms this size. This is array size is 6. That's what here at line number uh, just a minute, let me resize this. At line number 24, the size we are printing out, right? So you can see the size is 6. And then if you print the array contains, because newly space being created and in the newly created space we did not initialize anything since we did not initialize anything what it will have it will have zero that's what we are seeing here all all zeros here the final at line, line number 29 we are deleting the entire uh, uh, you know all of all, all you know, i mean all the spaces that we have created them we are deleting. So if you delete every space, then there is no space at all in this array. It is zero size. So that's why the size when you print here, it is zero size. I hope this is making sense. So that's all about this uh, uh, dynamic array. If you have any doubts, please post them in the comment section. Thank you.